Whilst in Tryon, we also followed the WEG Para Dressage test event that was taking place alongside the dressage competition. It was there that we had the pleasure of meeting our friend Karen Pavicic, who we filmed with in Canada last year. Karen was coaching the Canadian para dressage athlete Laura Hall, who was hoping to qualify for the WEG. A month or so after the event, we caught up with both rider and coach back in British Columbia to find out more about Laura's fascinating story. Laura was five when she began riding, and at 15 she began training with Karen in Vancouver to develop her dressage career, and from that point experienced success in various young rider competitions. After taking time away from horses to study at university and pursue a career in environmental geoscience, she began riding again. Then a life-changing incident happened. On February the 10th, 2012, Laura fell from a horse during a jumping lesson and suffered a moderately severe traumatic brain injury. And the prognosis wasn't great in terms of being able to use my right leg in particular because I had some brainstem damage. Um, my brain had essentially been shaken, so I, there was lots of several bleeds, over 13 bleeds um, throughout my brain. Um, but there was brainstem damage, and that was what resulted in the weakness on the right side. So they didn't think that I would get the use of my right leg back. Laura is a very tenacious person, and over a considerable period she battled to regain the use of her leg. Although at the time she had no desire to return to riding, her coach Karen had other ideas. I remember encouraging Laura fairly early on to um, be involved with horses again. And so we discussed maybe even doing some therapeutic riding and things like that, and thought, well, at least getting back into it and you know being around horses was a start, and uh, perhaps the therapeutic riding would lead into something towards maybe even para in the future. To cut a long story short, thanks to Karen, Laura got back on a horse and was assessed and classified as a grade four para equestrian dressage rider. Along with the Dutch warm blood mare Wendelin, which Karen found for her, Laura has been on a journey for the last year and a half. But the symptoms from her accident have had a lasting effect. One of my big deficits is fatigue. Um, but I do have weakness on my right side, so it's a lack of strength and a lack of coordination. Um, and when I get tired, it becomes that much worse. So I can't walk that well, and I will start to slur my words a little bit and then I do struggle with finding words and memory and that sort of thing as well. It's been a steady learning curve through her struggles and recovery but as Karen believed all along Laura had the willpower to succeed as a para rider. I think it's an advantage that I worked with Laura as a, as a young rider pre-accident because I know that the competitiveness there and, and even though her body isn't able to operate the same way that she was able to before, um, mentally she still uh, is just as competitive. And so I, I think that perhaps if it was a different coach, they may not know that side of Laura as, as well. And so I think that's part of the reason why it's been successful. As we mentioned earlier, we met Laura in the US at the WEG Para Dressage test event where she enjoyed the environment and the competition. It's a fantastic venue and um, it, it's a great experience. I, I love coming into that stadium um, because you come underneath the, the big screen and you kind of come in and you can see the, another big screen up there with you know your name and your, and your flag and everything up there and it's, um, it's amazing and I, I like having all the people around and the bleachers and that sort of thing so I, I really enjoy it. And with Karen at her side, Laura was able to benefit from the support her coach can bring during and leading up to competition time. Yeah, it was great to have her there because I, um, she knows me so well and so she knows, she can see when I'm getting tired and fatigued and struggling with something and so we can make adjustments and, and that sort of thing, so it's great to have her there. Following the test event in Tryon, Laura headed to a competition in Ontario where her horse Wendelin unfortunately strained a tendon. As a result, she will miss out on the World Equestrian Games. So it's time to have a rethink. 
Yes, that's what I've been trying to do in the last little bit since that show in Ontario. Um, it's for me part of my injury is I, I like to be quite um, organized and and um, have things planned and set out and um, so I've had to kind of scrap those plans and come up with new ones so I'm still working on that but um, now we're looking at um, Tokyo for Paralympics that's the next major goal. The future is still very bright for Laura even though this uh, her, her goal for the World Equestrian Games this year didn't work out, unfortunately, but um, there's the, the future is still super bright. It was good to see Karen again and to meet Laura. We wish her all the best with her plans and goals for the future.